So last year, I made a video and showed you how to unlock a Samsung phone with a non-functional or a broken touchscreen. And it's actually very easy to do. You need a couple of things like this USB-C to HDMI adapter, a monitor or a TV with HDMI input, and lastly, a wireless keyboard mouse combo. And using this, you can easily unlock a Samsung phone with a non-functional touchscreen. See that? You don't even need to touch the screen of your phone. And now, once you get a video signal on the external monitor, you can use the mouse and use the phone normally and take a backup of all your data. Super easy, right? But now, there's a little problem with this method. You see, the thing is, the latest One UI 7 update changes the way the USB functionality works, which makes unlocking the phone with a USB keyboard virtually impossible. Well, unless you change a setting. Let me demonstrate what's going on. So imagine you accidentally drop your phone and the screen stops working. And all you can see is this. And most likely if you end up breaking the glass, the touch isn't gonna work either. So now the question is, how do you get your important data like your photos, contacts and messages out of your phone? Well, at this point, you've got two options. Number one, you can send your phone in for repairs and get the screen fixed. This is the best option, but unfortunately, it's gonna be very expensive. Just to give you guys an idea, I got the screen of my Galaxy S10 Plus fixed and this thing cost over $250. Most likely because the screen comes as a single unit which includes the fingerprint scanner along with the buttons and obviously the outer frame of the phone. No wonder it is so expensive. And if your phone is a couple of years old, I can totally understand that you don't want to spend this much money on getting your phone fixed. So we've got a second option which allows you to output the video signal from the phone over its USB-C port onto an external monitor. However, you do need a couple of things for this which I've already talked about. And the reason why we need a USB keyboard and a mouse is because these phones do not output any video signal over USB unless you first unlock the phone. And most likely the biometrics like the fingerprint scanner are not gonna work because at this point you might have restarted the phone trying to make the screen work. Well, all of these issues that I've just described are not a problem because you can easily unlock the phone by using a USB keyboard mouse combo through this adapter. Now watch carefully. Right now the phone is locked and once we've got everything plugged in into the adapter, we can connect this to the phone and then unlock the phone using the keyboard. So I'm gonna tap on the space bar and then input my pin, then enter. And as you can see, that unlocks the phone. And we can quit the DEX prompt by tapping on the escape key. And that takes us to the home screen of the broken phone. And now you can transfer all of the contents of the broken phone onto a PC or a new phone. Now, when you connect a phone running One UI 7, I've got the S23 Ultra here, so let's connect this and you'll notice that the keyboard no longer works. And also, we are not getting any lock icon on the external monitor. This is because One UI 7 completely disables the USB functionality if your phone has been locked for about an hour or if the phone has been restarted and you'll have to unlock the phone to re-enable the USB functionality. You can actually see the phone is telling us to use USB device, unlock your phone. And you're gonna see the exact same message if you connect a USB-C monitor. So if your Samsung Galaxy is running One UI 7 and if you end up breaking the screen, well, there is no way that you can unlock the phone. And if you can't unlock the phone, you're not gonna get a video signal on the external monitor. Well, that is unless you change one important setting. Let me show you. All right, so head on into the settings, then scroll down to security and privacy. Inside, tap on more security settings and here disable block USB connections while logged. I will tell you why this feature exists and why you should keep it on, but for now, we're gonna leave it off. And now you will be able to get video output along with full USB functionality, even if you restart the phone. And not only that, One UI 7 now outputs the lock screen on the external monitor. So this should allow you to easily unlock the phone no matter what kind of screen unlock method you've got. 
pin, password, or even a pattern. You could not do this on One UI 6.1 because it does not output the lock screen on the external monitor, as you can see. But hold on, it gets even better because if you have a touchscreen USB-C monitor, then you don't even need a keyboard or a mouse to unlock your phone. You'll get a video signal on the external monitor along with touch input. So if you've got a phone with a broken touchscreen, no problem, just use the touchscreen of the monitor to unlock the phone. Now keep in mind this only works if you've got One UI 7 and only if you disable the block USB functionality on the lock screen feature. So One UI 7 does bring improvements, however, the setting that disables the USB ports on the lock screen is not gonna allow you to unlock the phone in case the screen breaks. This is actually a security feature which was recently introduced and this is meant to protect the phone and your data from hackers trying to run malicious scripts via USB. There is always a possibility of someone stealing your phone and they might try to run malicious codes or generally try to unlock the phone through some kind of proprietary software. Look, the chances of this happening are pretty low, but it can happen. This is why they've introduced this feature which blocks the USB functionality while the phone is locked. However, the unintended consequences of this is that you won't be able to get any video signal from the USB-C port or use any keyboard or a mouse while the phone is locked. So if you end up breaking the screen, the only option would be to get the screen replaced. So it's up to you if you want to keep this feature on or off, but I'm going to keep this feature off on my phone because I've had two phones break on me and I don't want to get locked out of my phone in case something like this happens. And not to mention, it is super important to get my personal files off the phone before sending in for repairs. Anyways, let me know if there is an alternate way to unlock the phone without a working touchscreen with this setting enabled. I don't think there is but I'm always open to new ideas and suggestions. So leave a comment and I will be testing and trying out your methods. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful or might come in helpful in the future. And if you found this video to be helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and do check out other videos on Samsung Galaxy. This is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.